Hey the bosses, you're welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some basic formatting tips that you can use in Google Docs to write your book. All right. I love Google Docs because it's free, it's online, which means you can work with it anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. And you can share the document with anybody you need to share it with, whether you need to turn that in to, you know, a teacher or to somebody else to review or to a proofreader. You can do all of that in Google Docs. So let's get started. So to get started, you're going to go into google.com slash docs, open up a blank document. One of the first things I like to do when I open a document is to go into file and then go into page setup. Now, there are a few things that you can do here. Now, of course, we want to apply this page setup to the whole document. You could definitely write it in the current size, which is usually the letter size, um, which is usually about the size of a regular office paper, right? You could definitely do that. But if you plan on writing and then publishing this book or self-publishing this book on a platform like Kindle, and you plan on use, using Kindle's print program, um, usually the standard book format there is I think a six by nine and the closest to that in here is this statement um, this statement format so I like to go with this 5.5 inch by 8.5 inch because it fits really well with the six by nine um, inch features that Amazon print has or Kindle print has. So then I also go ahead and then pick the margins. I'm going to leave this as is. And now our document is sized to what I want it to be. So usually this first page will be your cover page and there's a lot out there on what you can put on your cover page. But typically this is where you're going to have your title and where you're going to have your name. And so it would be something like title, and name and we're just going to keep that there as a placeholder now to actually get into the content of your book or to get to the next page of your book one of the things i like to do is actually go to insert and then go to break and then go to page break what this does is that it sends you to the next page so you don't have to hit the enter button all the way down here it just takes you to the next page which tells this program that you're starting that you are starting your book on this page and so whatever you end up typing on this cover page, no matter what you do, this page, because you just inserted a page break, every time you, no matter what you insert here, this page, the second page is always going to start at the top. It's not going to be pushed down by what you're typing on the previous page. And I think this is really important as you write your book and as you write new chapters that each time you write a new chapter, so we'll go ahead and write um, chapter one here so chapter one we'll put that in some kind of title case so we, we can highlight that go here where it says um, textiles and then we're going to click on heading two for instance and then once you have that let's assume that you've written some text here we're going to insert another page break so go to break go to page break and again, you start on a completely different page so that no matter what you type up here in chapter one, whenever we move on to this next page that we just um, did, which we can name chapter two, right? It's always going to start at the top um, of that page. So that's what page breaks are excellent for. Another feature of Google Docs that I really like is if you notice, once I made this a title sort of um, text style, right? I chose heading two for chapter one and chapter two. They show up in this left hand panel. I think this is super handy in Google Docs because sometimes you're writing a book, right? And you have ideas, you develop your ideas for each chapter, but maybe you may want to go to another chapter to change something instead of scrolling through the whole thing to find where you want to change you can definitely go right here click on chapter one and it's going to come there if you have a subheading under chapter one so let's do subheading one and again you make it a heading so let's go here 
and let's make this heading three apply heading three right that subheading is going to be under chapter one and so again if you had created a subheading or a subsection of a chapter and you had chosen a heading type you can go right here in the left panel click on that and then make your edits i think this is such a handy feature of google docs that makes navigating the document super easy Another feature of Google Docs that is really fun to use is the voice typing feature. And so if you go into tools and then you go into voice typing, this microphone should come up. We just click to speak. And so here I am speaking into a new document. And this is pretty exciting because each time we say words, it shows up here in our chapters period. Now, when you say new paragraph, you're going to jump to a new paragraph and that's also pretty nifty. So if there's a day you definitely don't want to type using your Google Docs uh, voice typer can be really helpful and you can go back and edit later on. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm writing, I like to know my word counts. So again, you can go into tools, you can pick word counts right here from the menu and then you can see your word count but if you wanted to display your word count as you were writing you can just go ahead and click that box right there click ok and you get to see your word and i think this is helpful if let's say you have a goal that you are trying to meet um, with your writing and so let's say this is a paper in this case i'm doing this for specifically for books but if you're writing a paper for instance you could definitely um or a book uh you could definitely track your word count by using this tool now to insert your page numbers you're going to go to insert you're going to go to page numbers and there are various styles that you can choose from you can choose it so that it actually starts counting and leaves out the cover page or you can start counting from the cover page i like it this way and so i'm going to use that and so you'll notice that our cover page does not have a page number but from the page that says chapter one we do have the page number so you can definitely um customize your page numbers that way um, and if you went to further customize those page numbers you could definitely go into page options and then um, you know click where you want the numbering to start from now this tip is going to be helpful to you if you um, are going to be writing and publishing this as a physical book usually as an ebook it doesn't matter so much but as a pdf document or let's say a, a physical book that will be printed printed on demand you could also go again into insert and then insert a header and footer we're going to insert a header here and for this header let's say we just choose book title okay as our title in this case it's just really generic um, and this will be applied to all the pages within your document so that you have that header title you don't have to type this in all the time you can just type in header and it's going to apply to all pages so as you can see here if we scroll down you'll see book title 2 on the next page another thing you can do with your book is insert images now i will warn you that if you plan on publishing this to an ebook format you always have to be careful with images because sometimes they don't always show up the way you want them in um in an ebook but you definitely can insert um the image here um so what you'll do here again is go to insert you're go going to go into image and you can upload your image from a computer or um, the driver wherever it is that you have this image you're just going to upload it from that place and google docs will then insert it into wherever you have your cursor blinking so make sure that your cursor is blinking like where my cursor is right here right your cursor is blinking at the place where you want to insert the image but again if you plan on publishing this a place like especially amazon kindle um if you're publishing this as a pdf it's a little different but if you tend to or you want to uh, publish this to amazon kindle then you might want to make sure that the image is really high resolution um so that uh, either when it's printed or when it's showing up in ebooks it can show up pretty decently 
And of course, we know that Google Docs automatically saves your document to the cloud. So as you're making all these changes, Google Docs is saving it. So even if you accidentally close this out, you haven't lost your book. It's still saved um, in your Google Docs. And I think that it, that is pretty cool. This is just a basic video on um, the different formatting uh, tools that you can use within Google Docs to write your book. If you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing.